Hello again, everybody, for a brief update tonight on the Allen Mogul. All I've been doing tonight is working on the blowdown valves and their mounting. And these are Loco Parts blowdown valves, very nicely made. And we've got one on either side, obviously, and this is at the forward part of the boiler. It sits nicely in between the uh, two rear drivers. So I'll show what some of my thoughts are about that in just a second. But to answer a viewer question, two questions. Um, one, yes, the the steam brake cylinders are pro these are called brake cylinders. I kept calling them brake valves in the other videos. It's a brake cylinder, and it does have a little weep hole, as you can see right down here at the bottom, to let the water out after the steam has actuated the cylinder. So hopefully that makes sense. This is the brake valve that I got from Loco Parts. I was working on installing, which is why I guess I was using that term so much. But brake cylinder <laughs> and brake valve. Anyway, so the back to the blowdown valves here. <clears throat> they um, they have nice long arms, and <clears throat> what I've seen my friends do is to mount them something like this, and then have a long rod come out here, and perhaps a little brass knob somewhere here, so they can be pulled on to uh, actuate the blowdown at the end of a day's run. My thought is, rather than just bending and hooking a piece of wire in here, it's going to need to be some pretty stout wire. A sixteenth of an inch will bend. I tried a piece of that in there. So I'm thinking about using, let's see right here, I got some eighth inch steel rod here that I could clean up and paint, kind of like the rod that I used for the blowdown, uh, excuse me, for the uh, the cylinder cocks here. I'm thinking about using this, and um, then the next question is, well, how do you fasten the rod to the end of the blow blowdown valve arm? And my thought is, I could make a little clevis end. They're not that hard to make. I made dozens of them for the brake assembly and uh, for the other rod-actuated things. So I had a piece of 5 16 inch brass square that I could machine, you know, drill it and tap it 540 for the eighth inch steel rod and then on one side and machine down a little neck and then in the uh, on the other end of it machine a, a clevis, kind of a C-shaped assembly like this that would fit on here and have a little pin that goes through there and it would look nice and kind of look like an actual something that would be on an actual locomotive. Plus this is a nice small project I could take and perhaps work on my miniature machine shop when I'm out of town. So, just a thought and just a beginning idea. So, I think my next step is to start taking things off and take the boiler out so that I can put in the throttle and the dry pipe. That's where we stand tonight. I hope you're enjoying the updates and I'm glad we're picking up some new subscribers. Hopefully this is helpful to anybody building an Allen Mogul or similar type locomotive. Thanks for watching, and I'll keep you posted.